YouTube. What's good, y'all? It is currently 12.21 a.m. on Christmas night. I got this new microphone for Christmas. I hope it sounds good, by the way. But um, I decided to go ahead and do a little NBA Christmas Day recap video. There was a slate of five really, really good games today. I'm actually still watching the Phoenix-Denver game right now. They're in the third quarter, but it's uh, it's getting a bit late out here in the East Coast. So I want to go ahead and give you guys a few thoughts, a few takeaways that I had from the games today. I paid pretty close attention. I did the best that I could um, while also trying to like spend time with family and uh, interact in those sort of things. But uh, NBA Christmas is a great tradition, man. Um, it's something that, you know, I've grown up on. Um, it's always been on the background when I'm opening presents or doing whatever we're doing on Christmas. I think it was uh, JJ Redick that said it before the first game today. You know, it really, it's really, um, it's really kind of a privilege to play on Christmas, you know. It uh, means you have somewhat of a relevancy in the NBA, which I think is pretty cool. You know, for me, growing up, as a Lakers fan, uh, pretty much being a Lakers fan because of Kobe Bryant, always watching him on Christmas. Um, he was on pretty much every Christmas while I was growing up. So uh, that's, that's it's just such a fond memory, always watching him hoop. But yeah, so enough rambling about Christmas. Let's get into the games. The first game was the 76ers and the New York Knicks. Uh, the 76ers ended up winning. It was actually a pretty close game. Um, these are two teams that have been playing really good basketball as of late. Um, but for me, I'm pretty much going to just give you guys one takeaway from each game. So for me, this one was, I think the 76ers kind of solidified themselves as a legit contender in the Eastern Conference. I know they had a rough start. I know Harden went down with that injury. But um, as of late, man, they've just been playing really good basketball. Embiid looks like an MVP candidate. And I think as they continue to go along and just build momentum, they're eventually going to get Tyrese Maxey back, which can only help you. I think the Sixers have just kind of, you know, solidified them as like, hey, man, we're here. Um, you know, you look at the Celtics and the Bucks, which is another game that we're going to get into. But those are probably the two teams right now at the top of the East that you're looking at to contend. And um, as of lately, man, I think the Sixers have kind of thrown themselves in that conversation. So moving on to the next game was the Lakers versus the Mavericks. I'm actually looking at the box score. We only ended up losing by nine points. Um, but this is one that I wasn't really going to harp on too much. Uh, the actual note that I have down for this is Lakers still suck. So, yeah, man, we were up, I think, 11 at halftime. And then that third quarter, they just came out and started spraying threes all over the place, which the Mavericks are, you know, that's what the Mavericks do. When they get hot, they can just pretty much win any kind of game. You saw it last year. They got hot at the right time, and they ended up beating Phoenix and getting all the way to the conference finals. So, um, it's, I don't think it's a terrible loss, man, but like at the end of the day, LeBron just has no help. Anthony Davis is hurt. The roster that's around LeBron James is not even a playoff roster, and he's just not at the point in his career where he's going to be able to carry a roster like that anymore. Um, if we don't get Anthony Davis back and soon, and considering he's still playing at an MVP level, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. I say we, obviously talking about the Lakers. So the next game was the Celtics and the Bucks. Um, this one's pretty simple for me too, man. I think the Celtics made a statement. That was uh, that was the note that I had down for this one. Like I said, kind of simple stuff that I'm going through right here. But yeah, I think the Celtics just made a statement. I think they just kind of said, hey, we're the team to beat. We're the best team in the league. Um, I think the Bucks are right there, obviously. Had the Bucks won this game in a convincing fashion the way that the Celtics did, I might be talking about the Bucks instead of the Celtics. Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum were obviously phenomenal once again. It's a statement game by the Celtics, and I think they're the best team in the league right now. So finally, uh, we have the Grizzlies and the Warriors, and obviously I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to give you guys anything on the Phoenix and Denver game just because they're still playing. Uh, it's still, I just clicked back on it, and it's still the third quarter. So I'm just going to give you guys this final statement on the Warriors and Grizzlies game where the Warriors ended up winning, obviously, without Stephen Curry. I think this one's pretty simple too, man. The Warriors just played like champs, and I think this is a really, really, really big game for the Warriors. Jordan Poole had an excellent game before he got ejected for some, what I thought was a silly thing to get ejected for, especially on a Christmas Day game. And when he's playing like that, I think it's kind of hard to give him that injection. I don't know exactly what he did, but the gesture that he gave to the referee didn't look too crazy to me. So um, 
I think it was disappointing that he got ejected in the end there. But other than that, the Warriors looked great. They got a lot of production out of the bench unit and guys that they're really needing production out of. If um if they can keep this level of play up while Steph is out, and obviously they were at home, uh, they've been great at home. It's on the road where they need to improve. But if they can build off of this win, try to keep their head above water until Steph gets back, the Warriors could be headed in the right direction. Honestly, probably have a chance to put themselves back in the conversation for a top five seed. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Christmas Day recap. Uh, once again, Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy holidays, whatever it is you guys might celebrate. We're coming with the NBA content. If you guys are new, please subscribe to the channel. Drop a like as well. And I will see you guys in the next one.